Welcome to Jira, the issue tracking system for DSpace. Jira gives you a way to interact directly with the DSpace developers in a structured way to make sure that the issues you report are being solved as soon as possible. When you enter jira.dspace.org in your web browser, you will see this screen currently mentioning two different projects. dspace 1.x is where issues related to any version of dspace between 1.5 and 2.0 are gathered, as well as issues and suggestions for the upcoming 1.6 version. The dspace 2.0 project gathers more long-term functionality requests and is bound to become very active again once 1.6 is being released. Let's explore the 1.x project. When you click the 1.x project, you get a project overview summarizing the different lists of issues. Before submitting a new issue, it's important that you try to verify whether your issue was already reported or maybe even resolved in the upcoming 1.6 release. To do this, um, click either Open or one of the other project statuses to explore the lists. Now you see the list of open issues together with the date when they were created or updated. You will see that the list is rather long and that the project is very active as you see there were many issues uh, reported and handled in the last days. Of course this is not the best way to find one specific issue. That's why you have the quick search function to search for a specific issue. For example, let's say that you experience problems with the RSS feeds, then you can do a quick search for a term like RSS. Apparently some other people have had issues with the RSS feeds and some of them have been solved and other ones are still open. Even if the problem is already reported, you can also add your own experiences as a comment to one of the open issues. Let's say that you verified that your issue hasn't been reported before. We will now show you how to submit a new issue. To do this, you will have to log in first through the link in the top right bar or in the home page. Logging in is possible after creating a free account. Once logged in, you will see that you have the possibility to create a new issue from the top navigation bar. Creating a new issue starts with the selection of the project, being either dspace 1.x or dspace 2.0, as well as the selection of your issue type. The issue types that you will use are bug, which is an error or a defect that you experience in dspace that you want to report, a suggestion for a new feature or an improvement to an existing feature. Let's say that we want to report a bug today. The second page of the form allows you to submit as much information as possible on the bug. What is very key for a developer in the process of solving a bug is first being able to recreate the bug on their own local machines. So please make sure to provide enough information so a developer can recreate the bug in his local environment. The summary field is where you describe a title for your bug. Let's say that I want to fill in RSS feeds aren't working properly, but th this is actually a bad description of a title because you want to be as specific as possible uh, in the title. The priority helps you to indicate whether this bug is really a showstopper or even breaking uh, your system, or whether it is a minor or even a trivial issue. If you know which components are involved in this bug, either being the JSP user interface, the XML user interface, or other plugins such as the OAI PMH harvesting interface or even sort, it's very useful that you can indicate which components are involved. But these are all uh, optional fields. Also indicate which version you are using and the an environment in which you experience the bug. The environment uh, can mean the system environment, whether you are running DSpace on a Linux or uh, a Windows platform, the database you are using being either Postgres or an Oracle database, 
or the client software that um, you, the user is using being the version of the web browser, Internet Explorer 6, 7, Firefox, Safari or another type of web browser. The description of the bug is the most important one. It's where you really lay out how you experience the bug, which actions you had to take before it occurs. Try to paste in um, any exception reports that have uh, arised during this bug. An estimate is pretty difficult for an end user to estimate how much work it will take to resolve this bug. So don't bother with uh, doing an estimate if you're not uh, really sure. And as attachments, it's useful if you can include uh, any relevant screenshots or uh, a log file or other related attachments. Documentation status as the last field is just to indicate whether the bug resolving or the specific issue needs any changes in the documentation. And this is it. When you press create now, your issue will become available for developers to work on and an email about this issue will be sent to the dspace-devel email list. As a final remark, I hope that this video made clear that Jira is not just a tool for developers but that you as an end user or dspace enthusiast can play an important role in the testing of either the older version or the new upcoming 1.6 version. A 1.6 installation is already available on www.testaton.net, so we will hope you will join in the effort to report as many issues as possible and to make sure that we really release a very good version. Thanks!